And hello, everybody, to the very good crowd. It is a, also Sun Visor Day, and it is Italian Day here at Candlestick Park for the 11th Italian Day. So if you're in the neighborhood, why don't you come on by? And if it's any indication of what happened here yesterday, come on by. You're going to see a lot of great action. Here's the 3-2 pitch in the way, and it is high ball four. And that's not the kind of guy you want to watch. So after going strike one, strike two to Coleman, Mulholland loses him on a base on ball. If you were to name one thing that really might bother Terry Mulholland, it would be his command. And so we'll have to follow that. Here is Ozzie Smith, and of course, he's going to get a boot. Ozzie, one for three yesterday. Keep an eye on Coleman. They throw to first base. They picked him off. They have picked Coleman off of first base. One three on the pickoff there. Mulholland with that snap throw that he has. He steps off the mound very quickly and throwing to first base, and they got it. So one man is gone. It's in their half of the second inning. Aldretti, Mitchell, and Maldonado. Once again, Aldretti batting in the number four position for the Giants. Behind Will Clark, Rogers' theory there, he wants someone that is a good hitter behind Clark, preventing the other team from walking Clark so many times. The first pitch to Aldretti is over strike one. And the 1-1 one -one pitch. Swung on, hit hard into left center field. McGee is going to have to run it down. It is going, going. It is gone. A home run for Mike Aldretti. And the Giants lead it one to nothing. Aldretti with his third home run of the year. And the Giants are on top. And that's your Giants replay. You can win $50 cash from Caltrain in the Giants replay game with Frank and Mike. 6 to 10 tomorrow morning on KNBR 68. Caltrain, your recreational vehicle up and down the peninsula. One, two delivery. Swung on, base hit down the right field line. Molinato is up with it, gets it into second base. One run will score. And around to third goes a Kendo, and the Cardinals have tied it at one. Three straight hits here in it. Mahala ready to one two pitch. Swung on line drive, right back at Terry. He has it, goes to first, Clark drops it. Mahala could have gone to third, they would have had a Kendo. But he chose to go to first, and Clark dropped it. He is well overdue. And the first pitch, ground ball to second base. Fire has it. He goes to first, and Bowman will have to wait at least another at bat in the inning. One run on three hits. Two men are left, and after four and a half innings of play, Cardinals won and the Giants won. Well, he's already been named. The pitch is looped in the air to right center field. Butler over in the gap. Dives and makes a great catch in right center field. So is 
Danny Cox. The two open. Swung on line drive. Face hits the line. Here comes Dixon to score. Uribe has a single. And the Giants have a lead of 2-1. to one. Uribe lined it over the drawn in infield. Right over the head of the shortstop, Ozzie Smith. Who made a leap for it, but could not catch it. Coming out to bat. Well, we go to the ninth inning, and the Giants lead by a score of two to one. And you can hear in the background some of the fans hollering "sweep" of uh, five games for them. There's a one-one pitch, roller towards shortstop. Rebe has it. Side arm to Clark, out number one. Six three. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. And a broken bat roller towards shortstop Uribe up with it. His long throw, plenty of time. Two men gone. That completely broke the bat in half of Bernanski. 6-3. And the Giants won out of way from sweeping the Cardinals. And it is Mike Fitzgerald who is one for three today. He has scored the only run, but does not have a home run this year in today. And the first pitch fouled back out of play. His last start shut out the Cubs by a score of 9 to nothing. His first major league shutout. And here he comes back today and he's beating the Cardinals to the lock. He hasn't lost a game since the Giants sent him down to Phoenix. He was 5-0 and there. The 0-1 pitch fouled away again. Strike two. And the fans of 44,326 starting to come to their feet. Here at Candlestick, they are applauding the efforts of Perry Mulholland and the Giants. Here it is, the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed strike three, and the game is over, and Mulholland has beaten the Cardinals 2-1, and the Giants have swept the series. Well, how about that? We'll be back with the totals in just a moment. A short while ago, a young employee...